So you can see that I am on the ferry in Hamburg right now because I'm visiting a school called Pro Technicale. Basically, it's a school where if you're not sure if engineering is for you, you can attend the school and basically do your first year of engineering. And if you like it, you can transfer those credits to another school. And if you don't like it, then you like have no shame. You are just done with the program. You did some engineering courses for fun. You get to do internships with like Airbus and a whole bunch of different really cool companies. So I'm actually going to visit the school today and visit the companies. And it's a school for girls. It's like a safe environment for um, yeah, like high school students to figure out if engineering is for them. So I'm really excited. So this is Annika, <laughs> and we're at the workshop right now where they're building model airplanes. And so this is the blueprint, right? Yeah. Um, this is the Stiletto. It's an Italian model aircraft um, um, without motor or anything. Uh -huh. We had a workshop before with a professor from the University from uh, Stuttgart. Yeah. And he explained uh, how the physics of flying works, like why are planes flying and how it works with the own force. And, and this is the plane we should build. And it's very confusing. Yeah. And it's in Italian, so... Yeah. Oh, do you guys have to practice your Italian? Uh, yes. Okay. They explained it to us, and uh, yeah, there are many, many little parts we had to cut. Uh, this is what comes out. Does your airplane look like that? Uh, quite, yes. Okay. <laughs> Uh, this is okay. This is the plane, so it looks quite the same. So this is the original plane. And this is what we built. And this is made from is what made kind of wood? It's called balsa wood. Balsa wood? Yeah, and it's a um, it's a very light wood, and it's, uh, balsa is some kind of it's not really like a tree, but it's some wood um, from the tropics. Okay. That's, yeah, it's, uh, but it's not that kind of tropical wood you you're not allowed to import. It's, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's legal wood. wood. <laughs> <laughs> so this wood is it the reason you guys chose it because it's light but durable, or why did you guys? It's very light. It's easy to cut, so we don't have to to sew all the time. Yeah. Uh, and if it's not light enough, the, the plane cannot fly. Okay. We don't have any engine or anything yeah. to, to make it fly, so it just yeah. flies from the air and from the wind. And does your airplane fly? <laughs> I haven't tried yet. <laughs> <laughs> well, hopefully it does. Um, and this is uh, paper from Japan. Okay. It's very soft. Yeah. And, but very tough. And um, when it dried, um, yeah, it's very, very uh, stable. Okay. So okay. be able to. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, it flies. Oh yeah. Oh. So I'm here with the Pro Technicala girls and <laughs> we're here in the workshop um, and you guys are making model gliders. Okay, why did you guys decide to do the program, first of all? Because we had no idea what to do after school, so yeah. It was a little, like, finding what you want to do later on. I think a few of us had general ideas, some are already very specific. But then, I don't know, about five of us had no idea where to go and this like, going into more um, science. science direction. Uh, was an option for us, but then, I know, me personally, I, I had no idea what I would be getting myself into mm -hmm. if I go in that direction. And oh, what specific science do you because there are so many different ones? And here we have the opportunities to get like inside view of different fields like our aerospace. Also, the, the internships are very part of it because you don't only get like the theoretical side of it, uh -huh. but also some, some practical experience and you get to see, like, get to have a look at different um, different places where you might work later on. And why did you decide to do this program instead of just like going to university? Because of all the internships and the networking, I think the networking yeah. is the biggest yeah. thing we can do. We because we're do. here in the ZDL, we have the opportunity to see like all these people working and what they actually do after they study. Mm -hmm. So we kind of can 
think about not what we want to study, but where we want to go afterwards. So then like go like backwards to say, okay, there I want to be. So what do I have to study to get there? Also a lot more personal in a way. Yeah. I mean, we're a rather small group, so we can learn better. And if one of us has a problem, we have people we can go to. Him. Could you explain like sort of the program? Mm -hmm. um, I know you have internships and you have lectures and you have workshops yeah. and sort of what the different topics are mm -hmm. or like what you try to cover in the program and it's one year right yeah it's 11 months mm -hmm. so uh, the girls usually come to us uh, uh, after they um, finish their high school degree usually the girls are um, not that sure what they want to uh, study later so mm -hmm. they have an idea that science could be the right thing for them but mm -hmm. usually they're not sure something uh, sometimes there's a the question am i smart enough to be an engineer yeah. or something like that so um that's why we invented a program so they could just um get a little taste of what it is like to mm -hmm. be an engineer this is uh, the reason why we have these internships and also they have courses at university level so they can experience on their own that they are smart enough to do that yeah yeah and they can also get uh, cps by that way, so they have something they can yeah, bring along when they start their studies later on. And CPs, you mean like university credits? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So the different topics in your program, I know you said there's like an aerospace track and then there's also a renewable energies track or yeah. is that all sort of t t together? Yeah, it's, it's a little bit together because sometimes you can't distinguish that well. So when you have a, a fuel, cell, fuel cell workshop, for example, that also um, touches aerospace as well as renewable energies. Mm -hmm. So, and uh, of course we want to get them the basics right. So it's uh, a lot of math, it's a lot of physics mm -hmm. on a basic level so that um, the hurdle to get into university isn't that big. And uh, also we have um, courses that prepare them for university, which is for example, computer aided design or visualization and um, yeah, a lot of different uh, things. And one specialty of us is that we also have um, courses in uh, the area of personal development and soft skills. And so in addition to having the courses, like you mentioned, and the workshops, which cover science and engineering and also like soft skills, you also have like the workshop that we just saw. Mm -hmm. And then you also have internships. Yeah. Can you talk about the internships a little yeah. bit? So at um, the start of the year, um, the participants, they uh, get invited to Airbus and uh, they all go together, but they are in different departments. And so they um, can, yeah, look, uh, they, can, they can see what engineers are doing in their daily work life. So the last internship is about uh, five weeks long. And there is a second internships, uh, internship, which is abroad. So they can also learn about different cultures, how uh, you approach um, um, different yeah, problems in other cultures and uh, what it's like to work in a totally different environment mm -hmm. and also improve their, their skills in foreign languages. Mm -hmm. So I'm here with Thomas and Laura from Airbus and you're both working in a department that takes in the girls for their internship right when they start with Protechnikale. So when we accepted for the first time that uh, we will have some of the interns with us. We made some kind of brainstorming so to look at the different disciplines which we have in our department. Mm -hmm. yeah, we're dealing with mainly everything which is linked to, to weights and um, center of gravity of the aircraft. Okay, so this is just one department and I know you were saying that the girls have opportunities in many departments with an Airbus, but all engineering yes. departments. Okay, and how did it come about that you decided to take the girls into your department and why is it, why is it important for you to expose, to sort of join Airbus with Pro Technical? Okay, so it's, we heard of the program and we got the offer to take some of the girls. Mm -hmm. And um, our boss is always open for trainees and young people and new ideas that come in with these young people. Mm -hmm. and. Um, their fresh view on on topics that that are um, usual or common for us uh, gives us the opportunity to uh, to look at it with a different eye mm -hmm. and sometimes gives us a hint how we can do something less complicated maybe mm -hmm. so it's 
um, for both sides an advantage so for us because of fresh ideas mm -hmm. and uh, it's also a motivation to have young people there and to show them what we do mm -hmm. and to give them an insight of what you can do as an engineer at Airbus. So we're in the, I guess this is an Airbus hangar. <laughs> and, and I'm here with Sebastian, you are a lecturer from Protechnicale, like lecturer, teacher, mentor. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> okay. And um, I just wanted to get a sense of sort of what your role is, what you teach, and maybe why you think what you teach is important for the girls. So my topic is uh, fuel cell and hydrogen technology. It's a special kind of renewable energy without uh, greenhouse gases generation during the production of electricity. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's a technology which can be used very good in mobile applications. Mm -hmm. And my focus uh, uh, is on aircraft systems. Yeah. So it's a small part of the transport sector. And the idea is to reduce greenhouse gases and also noises so in general emissions. And I think it's a very, very important technology to reduce the footprint mm -hmm. uh, of mankind on the earth. And I think it's very important to get new people uh, to this technology, to mm -hmm. fascinate them, to show them it's a very interesting technology. Mm -hmm. um, and then what are the advantages compared to the yeah, common technologies like uh, combustion engines or mm -hmm. something like that. Um, like what I do. <laughs> yeah. And of course also what are right now the drawbacks, mm -hmm. what are the problems. Um, give them a picture of what is possible in future. I think it's always important to show the young people very early what they can do. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs>So I made it home now. Um, I had an amazing time with the Pro Technicale girls. They made me dinner and then brunch and Friday night after I filmed and hung out with them, we played Wii. <laughs> we played um, Mario Kart and Just Dance. Basically the program is just looking for more international students um, because right now all of their students are from Germany or the neighboring countries and they're just looking for students from more countries from all over the world to apply to their program so their website is in the description below so the courses are currently in german but if they got someone that couldn't speak german they would switch and like teach in english so anyway if this program interests you then be sure to i guess write them an email and thanks so much for watching